Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Pie Man, and welcome to Warbox C. I'd like to thank the, 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 the developers if I can actually talk tonight. Or give me a chance to have a look at that game and bring that game to you. Warbox C is a puzzle slider in which the whole purpose of the game is to get the cube into the cube hole. Just like that. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Yeah, I got a bit of the sniffles. Because I've been feeling myself lately. So, like many puzzle games, it is all logic based. You bounce yourself off walls and teleporters and springs in an attempt to. Do that. The levels get progressively harder every time, which is good, but it is not. But the learning curve in the game is not outrageous like a lot of them. With some of them, it is just obnoxious. But this one, the flow of the levels is really nice. And. It's. What I'm looking for. It's relaxing to play. You'll find yourself playing this and totally forgetting about what you're doing. One thing I do like is if you do happen to screw up. It will leave the marks there of the last run. It will leave the marks there of the last run so you can see what you screwed up and adjust accordingly. Each time something new is added, there is a detailed screen basically explaining exactly what is going on. Which I like, because a lot of them are basically not overly helpful. Some of the instructions in some of the other ones. One major issue I have about this game is they could have done something in the back rather than just a pretty standard checkpoint. I mean, it's a beautiful, beautiful galaxy um, print, but at the same time, they could have maybe had like maybe a, some flashing or something of the stars, it's only just to boost the background. It is visually beautiful, isn't it? No, that's not right. That's not right. complicated but at the same time it's It does keep your um, high scores in there and your record times and how many steps you take.
As I said, this is a logic game. It does take a lot of logic. With, with the background and just how beautiful it looks. can seem a little, a little hard, but then there's some that seem too easy. But yeah, it could just be that I've already played through these. Gameplay wise, it's very good. It is a game you can sit there and lose yourself in in the background. And some of the Euro beats when it kicks in the Euro beats is a little tough on the ears I and mean, I got the music turned down a fair bit because it does get pretty bumpy. The fact that there's new stuff all the time. So this has been a look at Orbox C. Once I progress up to the harder levels, I'll probably do another video on that. If you like it, make sure you check down in the bottom in the description and I will have a link for you to the Steam webpage. So, this game as far as the puzzle games go, I give this one a 7 out of 10. Because enjoyability is a seven relax the relaxability factor which is what I look for in games because I play games to relax is probably a nine and that is basically the can you get yourself lost in the game and the answer to that is yes so once again I'd like to thank the developers they have made a really good puzzle game 
if you're looking for a game for your wife or your kids, maybe, this is a great one. So you can sit back and you can play Pugby. And they can sit back and they can have a little fun playing puzzles. This has been the Pie Man. Thank you for visiting, ladies and gentlemen. Remember, remember if you're not having fun, you're doing it wrong. Have a good one.